The following video is intended for factory authorized and distributor authorized servicing agents. Maltalk ICE encourages the use of authorized service agents to perform these procedures to avoid downtime and problems. Hello, I'm Jonathan and welcome to Manitowoc ICE's Tech Tips. In this video, you will learn the Indigo Next ICE machine menu navigation, including home screen identification, main menu, energy, service, settings, reset default, machine information, and contact information. We're going to need basic hand tools such as a Phillips screwdriver, so let's get started. First, we are going to get access to the top of the user interface that's located behind the front cover. Take a Phillips screwdriver and loosen the front door screws and open the front door. Now we can see the complete user interface, including the buttons across the top of the user interface, on off button, interface lock button, and the manual clean button. Focus down on the home screen, we can see date, time, and the lock icon. Note, the lock icon only appears if the interface lock button is pressed to show the screen is locked and cannot be accessed. To unlock the screen, simply press the interface lock button again and the lock icon will disappear allowing users to interface with the touchscreen. Also on the home screen, you may see the alert icon, which only appears if there is a problem where the end user needs to be alerted of an issue with production of ice. A sanitation icon, also known as Luminize, would indicate that the Luminize system is installed on this ice machine. The icon may change color from blue to red. A blue icon means no issue with the luminize, and a red icon would indicate needed maintenance or troubleshooting to the luminize sanitation accessory. Next is the message icon, which only appears if there is a reminder turned on. Front, down and center, you can find the machine information to include model number, serial number, 9070 capacity, install date, which is auto-generated after 100 cycles of ice, manufacture date, warranty, and software version. Bottom left is the main menu icon, and bottom right is the contact information icon. Last but not least is the ice machine status, which is in front and center. This is where you can see if the ice machine is in ice making mode or full bin or machine off. Pressing the menu icon from the home screen, we can see the main menu to include energy, service, settings, and reset defaults. Pressing the energy icon opens the energy menu to program the ice machine, adjust the water usage, or see a history of operating statistics based on cycle count, such as ice production, water usage, or energy usage. To move onto the service menu, press the main menu icon, and then the service icon. The service menu screen shows the following icons, data, alert log, manual harvest, control board replacement, diagnostics, contact information, USB, and iAUX when used. Data submenu is where you would go to view real-time data, data history, and clean history. Next is the alert log, where the history of alerts kept, such as power loss, water faults, high pressure cutouts, and more. Manual harvest icon is exactly what it sounds like. It gives us the ability to force the ice machine from a freeze cycle into a harvest cycle. This is beneficial to clear the evaporator of ice when servicing. Control board replacement icon is where you would go to retrieve control board asset information, 
enter control board asset information either by USB or manually through the interface. Diagnostics is where you'd want to go to troubleshoot the control board, sensors, inputs, and user interface. Contact information icon is a place to view or edit the contact information displayed when the end user presses the phone icon from the home screen. The USB icon with the service menu is for access to upgrade firmware or export all data. Real-time data, operational data, asset data, and settings data onto a USB flash drive. IOX icon is only visible if the IOX is detected. This icon is only to manually activate the AUX pump for pump and hose priming, primarily during installation or if the end user allows the reservoir to run empty. So moving on to the settings menu, press the main menu icon and then settings. From here we can get access to language, reminders, time and date, units, brightness, USB, and iOrgs when used. The language would be where we'd go to change the display language to your regional dialect. Reminders would be for turning on and off the optional clean, air filter, or water filter reminder. Time and date icon is where you'd go to change the configuration format as well as the time and date to match the location of the ice machine. All Indigo Next ice machines are shipped to match the Central Standard USA time zone. The units icon is to change the units of measure from standard to metric. The brightness icon can give an end user the option to increase or decrease the brightness of the display while in use. The USB icon is to import the settings into the ice machine or export the settings from the ice machine to a USB flash drive. This could be beneficial when setting up multiple ice machines that are all configured the same. And last but not least, the IOX icon, which is only visible if IOX is detected by the Indigo Next control board and is used to set the frequency of the cleanings. The last icon in the main menu is Factory Reset. This is the location to reset the install wizard, back up current settings, and reset factory defaults. When the reset is activated, the control will change the settings to the following. Language to English, date to month, day, year format, time to 24 hours, units to standard, ice clarity to off, and the brightness to level 3. Press the right arrow again to see the second page, which is clean reminder to off, aux runtime to off, air filter reminder to off, water filter reminder to auto, and contact information set back to the QR code link for Manitowoc Ice's online service locator. If you choose not to reset the ice machine back to factory defaults, Press the home icon and the screen will change back to the home screen. And there you have it. Please try one of our other training types, whether webcast, field training, or factory training. To find Manitowoc Ice's training and schedule, please visit our website, manitowocice.com service training.